everyone, welcome to RV Afterlife. There's Roger, he's kind of walking away from me. Um, but we want to bring you a little bonus material, I guess. It's not going to be much of a video, and it's probably only going to be uh, relative to you if you are either an RVer or if you are going to be visiting Big Bend National Park. But when we made reservations at the Marathon Motel and RV Park, I don't know, in my mind, I didn't have much of uh, expectations. Thought just a, probably a junky little place in the middle of the desert. But boy, was I surprised. And so I want to share with you a couple of things about the motel. Now, we're not going to go into the rooms or anything, um, but uh, it's, it's a genuine little uh, oasis here in the middle of the desert. So I'll walk you around. So this was the first thing we saw as we were coming down the highway here, which just led me to think I was correct about what kind of place this would be. The only thing I can think of is maybe it adds to the vintage charm or maybe there's a tax relief or something for leaving the old motel sign up because the rest of the place has really been improved newer more updated signs uh, for the park and this has even become one of those southwestern wedding destinations um, for the deep south Texas beautiful uh, additions that this RV park has and I'm going to take you inside this court courtyard because I could absolutely see how this would be a choice location for a wedding. So right here in the middle of the desert where absolutely everything is uh, burnt and dead and brown is this beautiful oasis. And right now there's a little bit of lawn equipment sitting around but it does not detract. I mean it's very well manicured and then really just gorgeous surroundings. And get a little glimpse of one of the cottages. It looks like that's two units, so I don't really know much about the cottages, but I do know I have enjoyed this green space. All of the roses are real and taken care of by the same two people. They do a fabulous job. Don't want to disturb the solitude of people that are trying to read and relax, but this nice little uh, fireplace, uh, I'm sure is quite the enjoyment on cold winter nights. I love the way he's done this adobe theme around the cabins. Now that building has got two different cabin numbers on it, so the, I don't know that they're very big. Yep. They're Pretty nicely kept though, at least they look nice on the outside. It's a big fire pit right in the middle, so it looks like it's definitely a good place for gathering or, or reunions or something fun like that. I'm not going to try to talk to the extra stuff that is happening here, but if you are going to be coming through Marathon and you like looking at the stars or uh, telescopes and things like that. They actually have programs uh, that are put on uh, here. You, you book your um, reservation at darkskiestexas.com and there is an astronomer who do, runs a program. In fact, this particular building has a portable telescope that they bring out. And if you can look around, you can kind of see that uh, there are two dome planetarium viewing sites on the property. And then the unique thing that if you Google this motel, uh, you can find out much better details 
about the two buildings that are out here. Um, they actually have retractable roofs and inside them are some pretty amazing telescope uh, telescopes that people from around the world uh, have put here and then they can access them even through their phones. Uh, and you'll notice the black skirting around this area that is to keep any kind of um, headlights from disturbing the dark. Uh, it is uh, I don't think I can get that with my this camera, but it is pitch black out here. There's not even a glow from any close cities. It is totally dark. I just wanted to give some contrast uh, so you could truly appreciate the beauty of that courtyard because this is what the rest of the property looks like. It's desert. In fact, right now we've had family and friends calling us make sure we're okay because there's all kinds of bad weather you know San Antonio and what are east of there but I don't think this place has had a drop of water in a long time what do you suppose this pole with the uh, bricks around it are about oh maybe a sundial I can't imagine people wanting to tent camp out here <laughs> little uh, viewing deck. I think in the pond is different. Yeah, a... you gotta admit they try. try. You gotta give people credit when they try this hard to make a desert oasis for their guest. Looks like this is it for us and uh, the, end. the end of the Marathon, Marathon Hotel, or motel rather, and give you a good look at that beautiful southwestern sunset, complete with cactus and all kinds of prickly things, and already the mosquitoes are getting at us, so we'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs> I got so wound up in the sunset that I forgot to say something that I thought was important. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the astronomy prospects of this property, uh, search YouTube for the Astronomy Motel or the Texas Country Reporter did an excellent video on this location. Enjoy a little bit of sunset music. See you next time.